Right, we're going to talk about how the Nazis controlled people's lives in Germany from 1933 to 1939. The way in which we're going to remember this is to think of the mnemonic CLASP, C-L-A-S-P, because the Nazis really clasped their hands all around uh, German people's lives. So the C is representative of the church. The Nazis took a big influence on the church in Germany. One of the key things to remember, obviously, is about the Concordat, the agreement between the Nazis and the Catholic Church, basically saying that they would stay out of each other's business and not cause too much of an issue. There were attempts to make uh, a Nazi Reich church and create that kind of image of what the Nazis wanted, but in truth it wasn't very successful. In particularly, why they did this was that the Nazis saw the church as a threat. It was a threat to their domination and their power. The next one, the L in CLASP, is the law. The Nazis wanted to take control of the courts, because if they have control of the courts, they can decide what the punishments are and really what the laws are, and they can make the laws. With this, there would be a complete lack of judicial independence, the whole concept of separation of powers, which is essential for a modern democracy, and in truth, the reason behind them wanting to do this was the Nazis wanted complete control of German people's lives. Uh, the next element is the A, arts. The Nazis disliked modern art and modern music. They were not keen on the developments that Germany had seen throughout the 1920s with regards to art. And they definitely didn't like the American influence of jazz music. Hitler and the Nazis really favoured the kind of Greek and Roman, very traditional art and architecture. The reasons behind them wanting to do this, really it's a subliminal way of, of influencing people's lives and controlling people's lives. The S is sports. The Nazis wanted to take control of sports. They wanted to encourage fitness. They really did want to create a nation who was strong and fit and ready to fight. The big showpiece events, obviously, when we're talking about sports, is the Berlin Olympics of 1936. It was to be a showpiece for the Nazi way of life and to showcase Aryan athletes at their best. Unfortunately, the American Jesse Owens really had other ideas. The very last point we talk about, and a really, really big point, the P of CLASP, is propaganda. Now, the Nazis used a whole range of different methods of propaganda, all under the control of Josef Goebbels. The five big ways to talk about newspapers. The Nazis controlled people's newspaper and the news that they saw. There were the massive rallies, predominantly in Nuremberg, where you'd end up with millions of people attending these rallies and hearing speeches. There were the films. Uh, the director, Leni Reifenstahl, uh, created many, many pro-Nazi films uh, that people saw in the cinemas. Posters were ubiquitous, showing Nazi slogans and Nazi ideas to the whole nation. And literature, of course. The Nazis burned books that they did not agree with and they encouraged people to read only the sort of Nazi-approved books and Nazi-approved texts. So when we're thinking about how the Nazis controlled people's lives, a good acronym to remember is CLASP, C for Church, L for Laws, A for Arts, S for Sports and P for Propaganda.